This is a special, just a little announcement I'm going to put um, at the beginning or the end of my videos. I don't know if I'll do it every time, but every other time or something. Um, this is for The Rich Life and for The Chun Chat. This is, several people have asked me about my giveaway for 1 million subscribers. So, this is how it's going to be. When I reach 1 million subscribers, if I get 500,000 on the Rich Life and 500,000 on the Chun Chat, we'll combine them, that's a million. If I get to the other one a million before, whatever, or on the Chun Chat, or a million before, on the Rich Life, no matter which one it comes first, I'm going to pick one of you lucky subscribers. I've got all your um, names and stuff. Um, when y'all subscribe, um, I'm going to pick one of you. You can take one of your friends, your relatives, whoever with you. And um, we are going to go first class. We're going to go to England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. I was going to Austria. Took that out because didn't know it was so far away so we're just going to go to those four countries um hotels will be paid for um i'm going to give you money for you can buy your shirts and whatever um if we go to museums whatever all that is going to be paid for um food oh I'll, I'll pay for your food and um so now let me see, um, if we go back home and stuff, be first class, I'll be paying for that. Now, we still got a long time, so I'm just putting this out for y'all to watch. <clears throat> now, if you can't take, because it's probably going to be at least a month gone from home. If you can't take away from work or whatever, if you don't want to go over there. Um, we can stay here in the United States because if you're maybe from England, you want to come over to the United States. Well, I'll just fly you over here. And um, I was thinking about like renting um an RV or something, and I, I'd like to travel around the United States. We could do that. Um, or I can go to the travel agency and stuff and f figure out prices, for whatever all this. And, um, just give y'all the cash. So, you can take the trip or the cash. So, that's how it's going to be when we get our 1 million subscribers. I know, I think I'm the only one YouTube person who's done this. So, just make sure to subscribe, like, so you can get your name in there. So, don't, even if you don't even watch my videos all the time, just subscribing and liking. And hey, it's helping you out. You may get a free chip. You may get, you know, cash. Hey, you might need to buy a new car or help pay some credit cards off. We might be at home or something, you know. So, um, but that's when we get. 1 million subscribers. So, I just wanted to do a little thing before the video. I don't want to go too long because I don't want, want to go too far. <laughs> too long because I don't want y'all to watch my video. So, make sure to like and subscribe so you can try to get in there and you can win the cash or the trip. I'd love to take the trip and we all go together and have a, a fun time. And, um, yeah. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Chewing Chat. And today, I'm going to be eating some pot pies. Anyone else like pot pies? Well, 
we don't have a Boston's Market around here. This is a chicken pot pie. I saw this at Walmart. So I picked it up. And I always get them re calendars. I was like, hey, let's try both of them. We're going to eat both of them. So, oh, here's the Marie calendars. You're supposed to cook it, take the top off, pull it off, and heat it. This one, it says you open up the end and heat it. Let me grab a plate. It's kind of ran over. And let's see. I didn't run over too much just a little bit there and um here's the chicken one of the boston market let me go and use this one i have to bring some more plates in okay boston market marie calendars Okay, um, they both have a soft shell. Let me, um, let me open this one up. This is one I just cooked. Let me get some heat out of it. Because if you burn your tongue, yeah, I'm talking about enjoying it and trying to taste test it, it won't work. <sighs> okay. There's that one. Alright, Marie Calendars has bigger vegetables, a lot bigger vegetables. It looks nicer. They have, um, Boston Market has just very few vegetables. Um, there's peas and carrots. Looks like it just came out of the freezer, out of the freezer bag. Peas and carrots and corn. Yeah, um. But my pre let me see how I'm gonna say this. I prefer the Murray calendars. It looks more homemade. Um, the Boston Market looks like it's um a frozen TV, a uh, frozen dinner one. So um, okay, let's try this one. Let's get. I got some carrot, corn, little piece of. Meat it doesn't have big pieces of chicken. Mmm, hot. Um. So, topping. You can really taste the flour. You can taste the frozen vegetables. They taste totally like they're out. You just open the bag and stick it in there. The gravies. You can taste it. It's like a chicken gravy. It's, um... It's not bad. The gravy. Chicken. Mm. Oh, so, so. Alright. Alright. See? See these big carrots? That's their carrot. That's their carrot. Alright. Get me a little peas, peas, and get me a piece of chicken. This is totally so much better. Um, this one doesn't have corn in it. I 
me taste this um crush. From zero to ten, I'm gonna give this an eight. Um, from zero to ten, I'll give it a four. They need to go back and redo all this. They used to advertise Boston Markets on TV. Or, didn't I hear that they went out of business? I don't know. Now, who likes to put all the crust? <clears throat> let me see. I do. Let me see. I think it's all the way down now. See, um, that's one thing I like about pot pie is you're supposed to have a bottom crust. Um, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Are they Kentucky Fried Chicken now or is it just KFC? I thought I heard the other day that it's not Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore, it's KFC. Whatever, their pot pies, they don't have no bottom. See. Mm. It's so bad. I wanted to review the Swanson, but they don't make big ones. Does anyone remember when they were 25 cents of Swanson Popeyes? What are they, two, three dollars? I can't remember how much I saw them for the day at Walmart. But they're the same size they were back in the 70s for a quarter. They may have been 10, 15 cents. But I remember we used to give them four for a dollar. <clears throat> and they were good back then. Well, that's all they had. And then these. So I didn't want to do a comparison because it's not the same size. So it's not really the same. So these are only two that I could find that were the same size. this smushed up. Now this one takes 11 minutes. The Boston Market's 11 minutes to um, heat up. The Marie Calendar's 8 minutes. Alright. I just know they need a little bit more. Let me try it again. Hold on. More for you. A little bit more gravy. It's um a lot of crust, and um, what came out in the box wasn't much gravy. So this one has a lot more gravy. This one first, and I'll come back and get that one. Mm. <clears throat> I'm crushed. Hmm. 
It's really good. Okay. That's from the I want to eat. I thank you to all my new subscribers. Mmm. That reminds me. Several people have, um, I need to do that day too. Um, comment is that they didn't know about my giveaway. Um, well, let's talk about the lore one. Um, because there's no reason to talk about the 1 million subscribers because we're way from 1 million subscribers. I have been doing, um, last year, 2023, I started with, um, this, um, giveaway. If we got 10,000 subscribers by the last day of the year, that I'd pick one of y'all's, um, lucky subscribers, and I would give y'all, um, a thousand dollar Amazon, um, gift card that never happened so I rolled it over to this year this is the last year I'm, I'm not going to do this one again if we do it I'm going to go probably when we get to 20,000 subscribers 10,000 or some 20,000 um, <clears> we'll see how it works at the end of the year we'll see we're still at the beginning of the year. By the last day of the year, we don't get 10,000. We're trying to get 10,000 subscribers. We get 10,000 subscribers, and I know we can do it. I have people who watch my videos. They just need to click that subscribe button and get y'all's name into, uh, into my... They send me um, y'all's um, who subscribes. So I'm keeping all that. So... When it comes to when we get that 10,000 subscribers, I can just go through there and um, pick out one of y'all subscribers. But I added, you can just choose a thousand dollar gift card. <coughs> oh, <wrong. coughs> or a thousand dollars cash. <sighs> and if you're new here, I have been sick for. Um, I think it was February 7th or 8th or something like that. Last year I got sick. I had to go to the emergency room and they can't figure out what's wrong with me. And, um, yeah. So if you hear me having a hard time breathing and stuff, hey, I'm still kicking. I'm still going. But, um, I'm not like the turning hunger fat chick candy everyone complains about her um breathing i don't know i don't know nothing about her her problems i don't know if um she's sick or she's that's because she's overweight i'm overweight too but it hasn't had do nothing with my breathing we think it has to do with long-term covid so I have most all those symptoms long term COVID. <clears throat> but that's what I'm doing. Get to ten thousand subscribers by December thirty first, twenty twenty four. I'll give one of you lucky subscribers thousand dollars or you can get a choose thousand dollar Amazon gift card. I'm a million. It's going to be an all expense paid trip to, we're going first class, to, we're going to England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. 
We were going to go to Austria. Because I've always wanted to go to Austria. But I didn't know. Well, we wanted to take another airplane ride. And it's like, mm. Because I'd like to just like rent some kind of you know, bus or something and um, drive us around. And so, I'm going to be staying at hotels and stuff. And then, I might just give y'all, um, whoever it is, just some cash so you can buy your little souvenirs and stuff. So, but I've been watching this. God damn it. It's called something. I'm gonna put it in the description. Y'all watch. I love it. Um, it's about, um, it's mostly about Canada, Australia. Sometimes they'll have um, England on there. About people coming in from the airport to customs and stuff. And, you know, they had to give you a card or something to say if you've got um, food. Most people saying they don't got food. And um, if you buy, um, buy something, you have to declare that you bought it. So. And if, and if you have more than, I think, $10,000 cash, you got to. Tell them, but I think you just got to tell them how much cash you have with you. Or whatever. So. I don't know. I hadn't went over. Um, when I went out. Over the seas or anything. I don't know, too. Yeah, had to let me know, but I just know from Australia, Canada, and over in England. If you've had DWIs, you've been in jail or prison or on probation more than 12 months, they won't let you in. <clears throat> Don't know if it's hundred percent correct. You'll have to let me know. I'm just going by what this. I guess it's a TV show, but now they're doing reruns on YouTube. <clears throat> hmm. This is really really good. I don't know if y'all remember. I guess it's been about. I imagine I told y'all here because this is where I mostly do my chatting. That I'm about a Keurig. A few weeks ago. This is like the third one. And I bought it because my son, he's got his girlfriend, comes over on Wednesdays and Thursdays. They leave to go get coffee. I was like, well, I have a coffee pot. <clears throat> and so, someone's always beeping out there, blocking the car or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, I got a freezer in my garage. I got three freezers in my garage. I was getting my Popeyes out. They open the door and they, they always scare me because they walk around like little mice. <clears throat> they like to scare me. They, I guess they're trying to give me a heart attack and kill me or something. I don't know what the hell they're trying to do. But they scared me and I jumped in. 
I said, where y'all going? Go get coffee. I said, well, I just bought y'all glazed donuts. I just had them delivered. I said, I was going to do that of um, St. Patrick's Day um, donuts, but I was like, well, I'm only reviewing them, and um, I don't care for them that much, and um, my kids don't care too much about Krispy Kreme, and I was like, well, they like Shipley's just glazed donuts. I was like, I'll order some of that, and I was going to have coffee, because I like to put my, don't my <clears throat> donut into my coffee. And um, I done and done that in years, and so I ordered that. Well, they were telling me to go get coffee. They're gonna get coffee. Get coffee. Listen, I have coffee in the house. I bought all kinds of different kinds of pot things going to here. I've got two flavored of coffee creams in the free in the refrigerator, and I bought some. Can whipped cream, the the was it vanilla or whatever it is, cream or whatever, and um and then there was a chocolate one. Never seen chocolate before, so I got that the other day, and then they got this cold cream foam. And my son, I guess I'll oh, get that. I bought it and I went and looked while going. He hadn't opened the thing up yet, so I used to put it in my coffee. It just tastes like um. Whipped cream that's kind of more liquidy. That's good. But I buy it again? No, I, I, I'm not, I don't care about all that in my coffee. <clears throat> and he goes, Well, we're, we're, that's hot coffee. I said, But um, I paid more for this one because it does cold coffee too. Oh, we don't know that, but uh, we're going to go get coffee. It's like, you're going to spend all that much money on coffee when I bought this special coffee maker that makes cold coffee and hot coffee. <clears throat> yeah. I'll come up to that. I was watching Family Fist of the day. It's one of them. I don't know. They got three or four channels, five channels. I don't know. You go to Family Fears and I guess all their stuff comes up because they've got like three million subscribers. <laughs> or close to three million. They, they probably have three million now. And um, I'm going to leave that little bit as a crust. I'm going to take some of these harder pieces of crust out. I don't know why I did that. I should have taken that part off. Well. They've been going to Sephora. And, um. Buying makeup and. Buying makeup and stuff for their. Their subscribers. I think they have more, um. Teenagers that watch them and probably people in their early 20s or something. I don't know. I'm probably the oldest one to watch. <laughs> and so. This just smells burn. Oh, I'll just eat this top part here. And um. They're buying all this makeup and stuff. And it's like, you know, I don't. Why don't y'all just give them a gift card? Y'all are buying stuff that's maybe for a white person who wins it. Maybe an African American. I don't know. You know, just different skin type. That what you're buying for. You know, you, know, you pick just winner. It's like, well, that makeup base is not gonna match everybody. <clears throat> I 
Then I got something like, oh, it's called. That sounds terrible. A bum bum cream. It's some kind of cream you you rub on your butt so you don't get see like. Well, let me tell you. I don't understand why a 12 year old needs that. And, um, they're so tiny. They're like, people see them stopping on the street. They're like, they're, can't believe how little they are. I was like, well, I don't understand why y'all need that. And, um, mostly every woman's going to have cellulite because it's just part of being a woman. It's having cellulite, you know, growing up and stretch marks and I'm out. Nothing's going to cure stretch marks and cellulite and stuff. <clears throat> it's just part of being a human being. Um, men and women have cellulite and stretch marks. Don't be ashamed of them. Because um, a lot of people, they don't have arms. They don't have legs. Or they've lost their life. And they'd be glad to have those arms and legs back or have their life back. So, it don't matter what size you are, what shape you are, be proud of who you are and what you look like. Don't matter if you're little bitty or you're big, be proud of who you are. I used to be like that, shy and all that. And it's like, you know, and try to hold, hide my, my um, legs and stuff, and, um, you see what it is? Yeah. Well, it's gotten worse, because I've gotten old. And, uh, it's gonna be, see, uh, I'm gonna put a flag there, and I'm gonna wave it, and, uh, for when we have Independence Day, 4th of July. <laughs> I'm pr I'm proud of my uh, uh, my flag arms because um you know I've had 13 surgeries I could have died with any of them and so you know I'm proud of my whatever has happened in my life and my you know and my flabby skin and my stretch marks and uh, my neck when I had to have disc in my neck and I had thyroid cancer and um yeah so you um just be proud that you're alive you know because um some people have it worse and um I'll tell you people don't have legs or arms and stuff they get along better than us to have legs and arms so, just be thankful. Because you never know when that's going to be taken away from you. I'll tell you what, that's terrible. I don't, I don't think I can eat that. Mm. <clears throat> My friend Susan, her brother was in a truck accident, a um, pickup truck accident, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 20 years ago, and um, he was in the, the truck, it caught fire, burned him, he's still alive, but it burned his ears off, burned his nose off, and the lips, and everything, it burned it off, burned his fingers, he was a mechanic at Walmart for years, and um, my kid's father and him, they were good friends. And, um, yeah. He's still alive. He does things. and He has to be very careful with this, the son because he was in Galveston at the burn unit for, oh my God, a year or two. He's probably used there a year. And he has to be very um, careful with the son with his skin being so, <coughs> so thin. Yeah, but he doesn't have a nose or anything, and it's like, but you know what? He's thankful every day to be alive. And, um, mm. I 
That's disgusting. I ain't eating that. When it gets cold, it goes down to like a one. Uh uh. This is the cusp. I'll finish this. Oh, I got cusp there. So, I guess we're gonna finish that up with this. I can eat that. I was watching wanna wanna make you eat wanna 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 eat want to eat one two <coughs> I think it's J U A N <coughs> two I think it's eat want to eat something like that I was watching last night. This morning or whatever. Well, I think they posted a new video last night. <coughs> Hold on. And, um, I guess they went to Popeye's Chicken. And, um, she was telling, see, they used to do pranks on everybody. I'm starting to see, I don't know if they're watching my videos. <laughs> She's, they start chatting. It says something about, if y'all know, remember, I uh, was telling y'all a story in one of my videos, <laughs> a couple videos back, hold on. <clears throat> How my youngest son almost got kidnapped at the Walmart. <clears throat> she had to tell the story about how her daughter... I almost got kidnapped, kidnapped at the daycare center. Some, I was watching something else. And it's like, I did a video. And it's like, well, they did the same thing that I did. And it's like, I don't know if they're watching my videos or what. I don't know. If y'all from there, hello, because I know I know I made several comments about it. Well, what negative comments? It's just them. They were eating chicken wings from Popeyes. I said, "Get you some Mike's hot honey," because she was pouring honey all over her her ghost pepper ghost pepper wings. She was pouring honey and hot sauce all over. Yeah, um, I bet she's up all night. Mm -mm. And then, so I went on Popeye's app and to look to see what kind of, um, flavors of wings they have. And I was like, I don't know which ones I'd like. They all sound delicious, but it'd be nice if they give you one each. I'm not worrying about that right now because um, I've got so much food and stuff that I need to cook for y'all. And so, <clears throat> let me see. Oh, last night I ordered my kids' gumbies. <clears throat> I slept all day. I didn't feel like eating. I didn't eat all night. This is my first meal. Over 24 hours. <clears throat> and so, I was like, well, I'm going to do this. Because I've been up all night and stuff. And I was like, I've been doing stuff. And um, I was like, I'm going to review these um, pot pies. And um, yeah, get them recounters. Boston Market. Mm -mm. Don't waste your money on that. <clears throat> okay. 
Let me see. I don't know when this one's coming out. So I think I have one coming out tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow's Friday. And then Sunday is y'all getting the St. Patrick's Day one. So this will probably be coming out Tuesday. I try to do them every other day. Unless I do something special. Then I might have it um put one out that evening or something. But um yeah. So I got so much filming I need to do. It's terrible. I just don't have that much time. So Alright, and thank y'all all for coming back and watching my review of these two pot pies and um, watching me eat at least one of them because that other one, oh good lord, please, please if y'all like it, I hope y'all y'all keep eating it because I won't, I won't buy that one again. <clears throat> I wish they had that Boston Market one in the beef. The beef pot pies are my favorite, um, but then we have chicken, so... I don't like to buy these pot pies too much because um, they got a lot of calories in them. I'd rather eat something else, get some calories for them. So, but make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, click that bell notification. Make sure it's all black. Now, I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye. <laughs>